Now that we have the basics of how to create dimension objects, let's look at how we can change the parameters in the Tool Options palette. Select a note with the Pick Tool and in the Tool Options palette, click on the Parameters tab. Use the Tool Options palette to edit the text after a note is created. Select a linear dimension with the Pick Tool and in the Tool Options palette, click on the Parameters tab. The Alignment option lets you choose the desired alignment of the text, such as at start, center inside, center, center outside, or at the end. Additional text can be added in front and or behind your dimension value. The dimension value is designated with the less than and greater than symbol. For example, we can type this wall is and then on the other side of the symbol, we can put long and hit return. We can eliminate the dimension value by deleting the symbol. For example, we can delete the symbol and replace it with the word vary. To change the style of a dimension, select Edit Styles. Notice that all the parameters are ghosted because the default style can't be changed. To make style changes, click the Add button to create a new style. You can change the name of your new custom style in the standard way by clicking on the style and typing your new name, such as My Custom Dimension Style. Then click below the new style name to accept what you just typed in. We'll briefly describe some of the dimension style parameters. The text size can be set to either screen size or world size. The default screen size option causes the text to appear the same size on the screen regardless of how far you zoom in or out. If you change this option to world size, then the text appears to change size on the screen because the height is set to an exact size in 3D space. The text font for your dimension style can be set to any font available in your operating system. The Orientation option determines how text is displayed on the screen. The Default option, which is the Aligned with Dimension option, displays the text in the plane of the dimension. If you change the option to be Horizontal on Screen, then the text is displayed flat on the screen regardless of your viewing angle. Use the Terminator option to set the type of symbol placed at the ends of dimensions. Choose either None, Slash, filled arrow, open arrow, or a dot. The measured quantities of a dimension that are displayed on the screen are rounded by the values in the display accuracy fields. If no rounding is desired, zero may be entered in either field. In this case, the dimension value will be displayed at the current system accuracy, which is shown in the Working Units tab of the Project Settings dialog. The last two options determine when dimensions are temporarily dropped from the current display based on your zoom and viewing angles. For example, with the high dimension by screen size turned on, dimensions that become very small when zoomed out too far are hidden and become visible again as you zoom back in. With the high dimension by view angle turned on, dimensions that become unreadable based on the view angle are hidden. As we change to more of a front view, the bottom dimension is now hidden. When we change to more of a top view, then the bottom dimension becomes visible again and the vertical dimension is now hidden. Concluding, we hope you find the dimensioning features in Bonsai 3D to be a valuable tool in designing, visualizing, and presenting your 3D model. This concludes the Bonsai 3D Dimensions Tutorial.